Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a second video for the new Boston on timestamps. Now, when we want to display a date, we can display the current date. We've already established how to do that. Now, what if I wanted to display a date that was, say, a couple of days ago or a week ahead? Or, in fact, I wanted to read in a particular date um, and store it as a timestamp. Now, when you're storing data for example dates in databases it's always recommended you store as a timestamp therefore um, making it um, available to process uh, that date um, in, in many different ways possible so at the moment you can see we've got um, the time we've grabbed from a timestamp we've got the actual time which has been formatted however what if I want to just up here uh, let's just remove this as well otherwise it won't make sense what happens if just up here I want to change the date I want to change the date to say um, a week ago okay so today's date is April the 1st um, 2011 so what I want to do is I want to change the time um, and I want to say the time is equal to um, in fact what we'll do is we won't do that here. We'll establish the timestamp here. And then here, what we'll do is we'll um, say we can either say plus or minus a certain a certain uh, amount of seconds. So what we can do is we can say um, minus uh, 20. So time minus 20. That's 20 seconds before uh, what we're looking at. So let's refresh this. Now, um, at the moment, this shows... Um, Ah, oh, well, that's probably a bad idea. We'll say uh, minus 60 for a minute. So let's refresh. So this says um, it reads 8.24 and uh, 50 seconds. Now, looking at my clock on my computer, it's actually 8.25. So now it's 8.26 on my computer, so we've gone back an hour. So now that what we could probably do is um, say time now equals we'll copy and paste that over to here get rid of that um, append a break onto that in fact no we won't we'll um, time modified so I'm just setting up my variables so they look a bit nicer so now what we can do is echo a sentence here so the time now is time now a break onto there and say the time modified is and space and time modified so let's refresh this page and see what we get so the time now is Friday April 2011 and you can see this 2655 however this one's 2555 because remember we minus 60 seconds however there's a really useful uh, function in PHP and that is called um, str to time and what this allows you to do is take a string uh, data for time so we could say plus uh, one week and that would return a timestamp with a week's worth of seconds added onto it so we can test this in here we could say plus and then we could say um, str to time remember this is string data we're converting a string to a timestamp we can create say plus one week now if we refresh this the time now will um, the time now will show uh, or we're looking at the date in this case Friday um, April we've added uh, a week on so we are looking at th oh no Thursday 1916 hmm. on plus um, Oh, hold on, no, one week, there we go. So, refresh. Um, right, so this might just be my, okay, there, plus one week. Uh, and what that should do is, um, no. In actual fact, looking at this logically, um, okay, right, right, okay. So what I've done is um, I'm returning the timestamp and adding on um, something we don't need to so if I was to say str to time this is already including the timestamp and then we're adding a week on so let's just try this again um, and refresh okay so now you can see that um, it's gone from Friday to Friday 
However, um, if we were to say uh, minus one week, this is probably a better example because now we're going to go back into March. Um, we've changed this now to March. So uh, let's just put this as a D and refresh. So 1st of April and let's put this as a D, small, small D, lowercase d. And let's refresh. Okay, perfect. So now we've got a textual represent, a, a numerical re representation of the day. So 1st of April 2011, we've gone back a week, which is the 25th of March. So now what, what happens if we say uh, plus one year? We're obviously going to take ourselves into 2012. So um, we've got 1st of April 2011, plus, uh, and then the modified is 1st of April 2012. Um, but what we can also do is we can do things like um, combinations. So what we can do is we can say plus one week, um, two hours, uh, 30 seconds. Okay, so what we're now doing is we're adding a week, two hours and 30 seconds. So let's just refresh. We'll check the first, it's 1st of April and it's 2031. So we now ended up with the 8th of April, which is a week later, we're 22, and you can see that we've done two hours and the 30 seconds has been added on. So we've got 35 here and we've got five here. So we're going into the next minute. So this is a really great way to modify your times depending on your needs. Um, Obviously, these functions can be used alone. You can use them uh, to feed in a timestamp. Um, so we could say um, time minus, and we could say 30 seconds. So let's uh, refresh. Um, oh, we've gone back to this again. So uh, I think it appears that we're not, yeah, we're not going to use this because. Um, because of the nature of how the function works. However, um, we can obviously use this alone. We can use the str time and then say a week. However, if we wanted to go back, let's say, um, let's say for example, 30 seconds, uh, 30 minutes, um, let's just say, um, well, we'll enclose this in brackets first. And then we can say two hours or, uh, and we'll just say like seven days, for example. So seven days, two hours, 30 uh, seconds and 30 minutes. So what we're doing is we're multiplying everything together to create the seconds. Now let's refresh the page and we can see that what we're doing is uh, we're taking this back seven days. So we've got um, 1st of April. Hmm. Let's just try changing this to 24 hours, see what result we come up with. Let's refresh. Okay, so um, it's taken us back um, uh, 24 hours. Um, 24 hours, let's just double check that. 24 hours, then another two hours. Um, that's back to the 31st of March. So yeah, 24 hours we've been taken back. Um, not sure why this seven days isn't working. But anyway, it's just something to research and have a look at. It's very hard to explain every single point of uh, timestamps because there's so many functions within PHP that deal with the time. Um, so be sure to have a little research around, have a look around. Um, the php.net manual is uh, full of information about this and you can view live examples. Um, but this is generally how we would use uh, timestamps and how useful they can actually be.